Hi there, Doug and Suzanne. It's Phil here from Georgetown Kia. Thank you so much for stopping in and checking out one of my Optima hybrids the other week. Just wanted to do a really brief walk around video for you, uh, showing you the ins and outs of the vehicle and covering anything that we missed on the, um, on the tour. So right off the bat, I'm gonna go ahead and pop the hood here. Alrighty, so you do have your uh, 2.0 four-cylinder hybrid engine. So then you do have the gasoline uh, direct inject engine as well as the um, battery power plant as well. And I'll explain how that works in a minute. This is gonna give you a really good look at what the engine looks like underneath. This has really cool uh, silver accent and faceplate on the uh, engine cover, so that's cool. See, I don't know if you heard that, but it just actually went ahead and shut off because the gasoline engine was running and now it's in hybrid mode. So I don't think you're going to be able to hear that, but there is a little bit of an electric noise. So that's actually really good timing. So looking at the front of the vehicle, <clears throat> so you do have your dual projection headlights. These are HID headlights as well, so they're very, very bright. They emit a white light instead of traditional yellow light, as well as daytime running lights. Uh, don't mind the uh, flickering of those LED strips. That's just the camera. Down here, you have um, little air intakes, so those will actually, um, air will actually go in and help cool off the vehicle's brakes for you, so that's really, really cool. Alrighty, so now you come to the wheels. So these are um, machine finished 17-inch uh, wheels, so those look very nice. They're actually a little bit aerodynamic too. I don't know how well you can see that because the wheel is a little bit dirty, so I do apologize for that but there are little um, cutouts here and the wheels are a little bit recessed. So that just helps with that uh, aerodynamics. As well as you have the Eco Hybrid badging along the side. So as usual, you do have your power folding mirrors. These are proximity sensors as well. So you lock the car, the mirrors will fold in. You unlock the car, the mirrors will uh, extend. As well as you do have your um, little button on the side to open the door for the keyless center. Okay. And then moving along to the back. <clears throat> so I've already went ahead and hopped to open the uh, trunk for us. So as you can see, as standard Optimas go, there's lots and lots of room in here. It is, again, 60-40 folding rear seat. Okay, so you have the nice, and this is the EX Premium um, Hybrid Optima. So you have your EX and then Eco Hybrid badging on the back. Gives it a very aggressive look that the Optimas are familiar with and are known for. Okay, so we'll go ahead and open the door and I'll show you what we got. So again, on the door panel, so you have your memory seating, you have your power folding mirrors, power locks, power windows, all that fun stuff. Um, both the front drivers and passenger windows are one touch automatic, so that's handy. Moving along here, so you have your brightness and dimness button here. You have your blind spot detection button over here, as well as your lane departure warning, as well as your different controls here for gas, um, gas door, trunk release, and trash control. Over here on the seat, you have your power seat with lumbar adjustment, so that's very handy. Okay. So we'll go ahead and hop into the vehicle. Now it is actually running. I kind of freaked out for a sec when I first started it, because there's no noise but the vehicle is indeed running. It's on the electric mode right now. So moving along to the steering wheel, so you have your Bluetooth controls, and over here you have cruise controls. Let me show you up here. So the heads up display, and so on and so forth. So again, you can control the different things as you like there. Now up to the left, so you have your charge indicator, you have the Eco, which is your um, battery percentage, and then to the very right of that is for your uh, power band. So that means, um, so what I'm gonna do actually right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the gas. So you see the bar is going up, right, right there. So this is right now in um, battery mode, but whenever you do press the gas rapidly, the engine will kick in, or the gasoline motor. Moving along to the head up, heads up display. Now one thing that we did not talk about is I remember you said that the, um, what comes up on the screen for like the hybrid mode, so you press this guy here, and it'll show you like fuel economy, and it'll show you um, like the battery percentage, and so on and so forth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the car in drive, and we'll see what happens. So 
car is now in drive, so we're putzing along. So one thing I, I definitely forgot to mention. So right now I'm in drive. When it gets above a certain degree, um, or excuse me, a certain speed, because um, you have the 300, or not the 360, but you have the three zones for the um, bird's eye view camera, as well as your backup camera. You can change it from the backup camera from here to the uh, th um, bird's eye view up here. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to put it in drive and we'll see. So you have the eco mode going there. Okay, so it almost kicked into the gasoline engine. So we're almost there. So again, it's very, very quiet because it is running on electric only mode right now. But once you give it a lot of throttle, then the uh, gasoline motor will kick in. So when you're making an on ramp on the highway and so on and so forth. And there we go. All right. Go ahead and put it in park. Yes, I know my seatbelt's off. <laughs> Just bear with me one sec. And that's the mode or the sound it'll make when you shut the vehicle off. I'm gonna go ahead and start it up again. So just listen closely, you're not gonna hear anything. And that's it. And there we go. So now it's back in battery saving mode. All right, so moving along to the, um, the center of the vehicle. So again, you do have the hybrid display there. And just to go back, you press the button here and you have your standard um, Optima heads up display. So you have AM, FM, satellite radio, all that stuff. Um, you do also have navigation with this unit as well. So that's very, very handy. Um, yeah, I'm coming along down here. So you have your dual zone climate control. So just press the climate button and the um, what's going on with the climate control will display on the screen. Again, dual zone, like I said, so you have your fan speed, econ, you have the driver fan only, front defroster, rear defroster, AC compressor button, and then um, recirculate air button. Okay. Moving down here, so you do have your 12-volt um, power outlets, as well as a, excuse me, no, it's only one single power outlet, as well as female auxiliary port, USB port. Um, what this guy is right here, this is actually the wireless charging pad. Um, so all you have to do is you have to place your phone on the pad and the phone will automatically charge for you. And that was just a little indicator. Okay, so going along here. So you have to do again, park, reverse, neutral, drive. You put in the drive and you can upshift and downshift through the gears. Kind of like the manual transmission, except without the clutch. You do have some nice storage here. And this is a brushed aluminum finish. Um, here, so you have your heated steering wheel button. You have the different drive modes. So eco, um, sport, and then automatic. You have your heated seats as well as air-cooled seats as well as for the passenger side as well. You have your front camera. So when I put in this drive, the camera will activate. I'm just gonna figure out how to do this. Okay. All right. Now it's something like that, but anyway. Um, this is for your electronic parking brake. So you just yank it up and the parking brake will activate for you. And then auto hold what this is. Um, so when you're at a stoplight, if you don't feel like holding the gas button, or excuse me, the gas pedal, excuse me, brake pedal, the, um, the vehicle will actually go ahead and hold the, the brake for you until you press the gas and then the brakes will release. Okay. Hold your arm or your cup holders and um, center console. You do have another USB port down there as well. Okay. So we'll just quickly move into the back. <clears throat> And again, you do have the um, premium hardened carbon sound system in this vehicle as well. So in the back, you do have heated seats as well. You do have a volvo power outlet and a USB port. And best part, I think personally for this vehicle, is the ginormous panoramic sunroof. So it gives the illusion of being very, very spacious in here. So this just gives you a little bit better look from the um, rear seat facing inwards. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, the uh, address for Georgetown Kia is 314 Guelph Street in Georgetown, Ontario. Telephone number is 905-877-7818. And when you guys are ready to make the transition, give me a call. Thanks for watching. Take care.